what advice would you give European and American progressive movements regarding the issues of colonialism? Um, I would say that they... I would say that, that white people need to take a back seat uh, and come under the leadership of political organizations such as the Uhuru Movement, who are already... Um, uh, who already have a, uh, a section in, in their organization which is uh, specifically white people who, who are under the leadership of, of the party of the, of the African uh, organization um, and and yeah it's again it's not about trying to save us or it's not about them finding the solution for us uh, we need, to, as indigenous and African people, we need to find our own political uh, and economic solutions to our, to our problems uh, or to the problems that Europeans are giving us. Um, and if Europeans truly want to uh, be in solidarity with us, um, they have to listen. They have to stop talking so much. Uh, they have to stop trying to create their own organizations to lead us uh, and you come under the leadership of people who are truly trying to change the system trying to overthrow the system um, I was watching a I was watching parts of the debate between Bernie Sanders and um, Hillary Clinton uh, I think it was I think it was yesterday that they debated um, and it's very similar to uh, what we have here in the in, in the UK with Jeremy Corbyn, uh, the Labour MP, who you know he's, he's a he's a respectable man, an honourable honourable man. I think Bernie Sanders, to to, to a large extent, is also a, a respectable man. But there's a there's a big issue, which is that they um, we can we can't be ruled by white people. It is my opinion, and for some of us who are anti-colonialists, uh, see the contradiction. How can how can a white person be in charge of us, or how can a white person really lead a revolution that would overthrow that would destroy a system in which white people uh, are, the, are the main benefactors of that system. Uh, so so it is my, it's my opinion that um, though Bernie Sanders in terms of like maybe reforming, though it, it, it's, it, it's uh, almost unlikely, uh, he, he could have very um, progressive values and interests and he wants to take the country in you know, very reform. He wants to reform certain aspects of society, uh, but we're talking about a, a system, a whole political system that would be working against him to undermine everything he he may he may be want want to do. Um, so again, like I would say that uh, what we need is a, a revolution, and what people like Bernie Sanders and other white activists are calling for our reforms, uh, economic reforms that will benefit white society and maybe trickle down something to the indigenous and Africans. Uh, but in terms of like a revolutionary movement that will halt the oppression of our people, that will um, change history, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it that, and and yeah, it's the same with the smaller organisations of, of uh, Europeans, who, for example, here in the UK, you have loads of organisations who are for migrant rights, refugee rights, housing rights, which which are all very good. You know, the aspect, certain aspects of our of our people's oppression. Um, which which have to be addressed, which have to have, have to be uh, taken care of. But in the long term, if we if we're talking about self determination, we're talking about political 
liberation, I'm talking about economic freedom, economic self-determination, uh, then we have to go beyond the, yeah, the very narrow, narrow-minded views of, uh, or very particular interests of, of European leftists or European activists.